Can you imagine yourself working as a teacher in the Nandara lands in the Western Desert? Do you have the personal and professional qualities that are needed to make the experience a memorable and successful chapter in your life? Living in the desert can be tough, but enriching. Isolating, yet full of strong relationships. And the teaching more challenging and very different to anything you've ever experienced. Coming out here for the teaching shouldn't be your only motivation. There's so many other draws to coming and living and working in a remote community, but it definitely should be a big focus. Coming out here to provide first class education for Indigenous kids to help close the gap should be high on the list of your priorities. The Nandara Land School has nine campuses spread over the 250,000 square kilometre Nandara Lands near the tri-state border in the east of Western Australia. It's one of the most isolated schools in Australia and serves about 300 children from pre-primary to year 12. It can be a two-day drive to reach the lands where some elders remember a time before Europeans arrived in the region. And the way of life can be a culture shock. Teachers need to adapt to differences and challenges in and out of the classroom. They coming out of give education, Western education, to our children. Need to how to read and write. But in a way, like they're coming into another world, especially the, when they're coming out to teach little kids, Titi Kolonba, the little kids, they speak language. Obviously, these children all speak Nanandara, or when I was working in Kuakura, they speak Pintipi. So, um, straight off the bat, that you'll notice that the kids are not speaking English, and which is a really, um, it can be quite confronting, but it's also a really good challenge to learn another language. Some of the biggest challenges we face teaching out here is the transiency of students. Uh, they move around between communities, in and out of the lands even, so you can have a kid for a few weeks, just here for a month and they come back. Because the kids are brought up with a lot of autonomy, they have a lot of freedom to choose where they go, when they go there, who they want to go with, where they want to stay, whose house they want to sleep at, what time they want to go to bed, um, what they want to do in the day. And that involves whether or not they want to go to school. And while the classroom environment is very different to anything in the metropolitan area, with a high level of professional development offered and support from the entire land school team, committed staff thrive. What you're coming to do here is to do something quite different from mainstream teaching. You'll need to learn some new things about pedagogy and you'll need to learn a new curriculum to teach out here. Well, behaviour management's a challenge that we face out here. Um, but we get a lot of PD and uh, a lot of training to help us manage with our behaviour management in the classroom. There is a lot of support available to teachers here and we like them to take advantage of it and you know, feel like they're actually part of one school and not just one tiny little campus hundreds of kilometres from everybody else. Life outside of school in a remote community has its difficulties, but it's also what you make it. If you're open to connecting with what's on offer, it may just surprise you. I really enjoy working out here. I really enjoy seeing the kids learn. Um, but you do need to have resilience in the sense that you are in an isolated community um, and things are going to happen in your own life and you need to be able to learn how to deal with those um, being here, being in this environment. So I'd say that's probably the biggest surprise of me is how, how I've learned how resilient I am as a person. Good boy, well done. I think All right, ready? the strength of relationships um, has really been a, a really positive surprise for me. I didn't think that um, I'd have so many people out here that I could call friends um, after only nine months. Um, but I think because when you're all in the deep end, you, you, you tend to cling on to each other. And I think that's what we've done. It's been very, very surprising but very welcome. 
I find it really grounding being so isolated because it means it takes you back to your basics. Making your own bread is such a wonderful experience because you can't go down the shops and get a fresh loaf of bread. Um, having a garden is really lovely, so it can be challenging with fresh produce, but it's a wonderful opportunity to develop your skills and connect with living on a different level. The Nandara Land School is committed to providing a quality education to the land's children while respecting their strong cultural links. It's not the easiest posting and may well require you to adjust to a very different working environment and another way of life. If you are looking for a new teaching horizon, have passion, patience, flexibility and are still prepared to learn, out here in the desert, it's a big horizon. And the Nandara Land School could be just what you were looking for. I think the bottom line, the kids are really great. You know, they've got this freedom and this uh, spirit, which I have not seen anywhere else. It's like, um, I don't know, they sort of have this, this really unique character. They haven't been held down or told what to do or what to say. Or, so they're just really, really fun to be around. Come out uh, with an open mind. Come out uh, with the sense of you can have an adventure, have an experience, cultural experience, take it in. Um, yeah, don't bring any prejudgments or anything like that. Just come with an open mind. But also be very open to the, the amount of wonderful relationships and experiences that you can build. I think that it is a very worthwhile experience and, and I suppose the toughest challenges usually are.